Francis Spiler Forest is an old growth swamp. It's been here for hundreds of millions of years as a swamp, but we've owned it since uh, 1969. And we're located in the coastal plain, so our watershed flows from Orangeburg down to Ridgeville and then turns along that ridge and empties into the Edisto just above Devans Ferry State Park. Now water is not here all the time. As you can see behind me, there is some water. If you were here earlier in the uh, last fall, it was up to the boardwalk. Uh, so the schedule of water is variable. The trees and the plants that are here are adapted to that schedule. Cypress obviously can grow in the water. Tupelo can grow in the water. There are other trees here that may or may not be able to survive, so they might be on the edges. Right now, everything is adapted and it's flexible because there is a, a pattern. It may be high like, like it was last year or low like it was a couple summers ago, but overall there's a pattern it goes up and down, but it doesn't vary tremendously. So the swamp is like uh, a bathtub. So if you have a, a tropical storm go through, it's going to fill up, and so it will be able to hold all that water. What's here is adapted to the water, so it's not going to wash anything away, and then it'll slowly discharge into the Edisto River over time. And then you're gonna have droughts where, you, if you don't have rain for a while, you'll have holes in the swamp, which is where four hole swamps get its name. And so fish and, and other animals that require to live in the water, if they can make it into those holes, will be able to survive the dry period. If you have climate change where you have a tremendous amount of rain now, maybe this system can't handle that. Maybe it needs to have some time like now where the water is low and certain plants and animals can get a break from being inundated by water. Or if it goes to the other extreme where you have extended drought and you don't have rain feeding into it, you're going to have pines that are be able to grow into here. You're going to have other plants and other animals that can move into here and that's going to likely disrupt the, the current uh, habitat that's here. <laughs>